I'm Nina from Nina Designs and I'm going to show you how to finish a necklace or a bracelet with crimps and a crimp cover. The supplies we need for crimping are beading wire, chain nose plier, round nose plier, crimping plier, crimps, and crimp covers. To begin, slim a crimp over your beading wire. Then your clasp, then run the beading wire back through the crimp bead. And move the crimp bead up. You don't want it to be right up against the loop of the clasp. You want to give it a little bit of play. Next, take your crimping pliers and position the crimp in the back hole, the second hole, and press down firmly. The crimping plier will form a little U-shaped indent. Take your chain nose plier and continue the fold by pressing the opposite sides together. Now the crimp is secure. Use your wire cutter to trim the end. Oops, slipped out of my hand here. Let's get a firm grip. There you go. So now you have a crimp, but it's not terribly attractive. So the next step I'm going to grasp a crimp cover on either side of my fingers and use the round nose plier and gently pry open the crimp cover so that I have enough space to slip my crimp in. And I slip my crimp into the crimp cover Get it nestled in there nice and neat. And I use the chain nose plier to gently close the crimp cup. So now my clasp is prepared and I can string my necklace. Once you finish stringing your necklace or your bracelet, run your bead wire through the other end of the clasp. and back through the crimp bead. You want to position the crimp bead. This is very important. You don't want the wires to cross and you want to leave enough room so that there's some play in the bracelet. So there's room between the crimp bead and the clasp and also between the crimp bead and the last bead. And you want to be sure again that the two wires aren't crossed. That's very important for the hold. So I've got it where I want it and now I'm going to position it like I showed you before in the back hole and I'm going to press. And then I'm going to press it closed and get it around the other side. It's being a little squirrely here. There we go. Once it's closed, I'm going to trim it. Didn't quite get it close enough, so I'm going to trim it again. I'm going to take another bead cover. I'm going to coax this bead cover open. And slip it on. This part's a little tricky because it all gets very, very tight and cozy in here. There you go. Once the crimp cover is in position, 
gently push it closed with the chain nose plier. And there you have it, a beautiful crimped bracelet.